In this video, I will prove associative law of vector addition graphically. First, what is associative law? Associative law is regarding addition of quantities. It says that if you add quantities, then it doesn't matter in which order you add quantities. You can add any quantities first and then add the remaining quantities to the resultant. For to prove this law for vector addition, I take example of addition of three vectors. I have three vectors A, B and C and those need to be added. So the addition is independent of the order in which I add them. It is the associative law and vectors follow associative law which we will eventually prove in this video. So it says if I add vector A and B and then add resultant to vector C then it will be same as if I add vector B and C and then add resultant to the vector A. So first take left hand side and add vector A and B. To add vector A and B by triangle law of vector addition place vectors A and B such that head of vector A coincides with the tail of vector B. Here head of vector A is coinciding with the tail of vector B. To find the resultant connect the tail of vector A to the head of vector B. By doing so I will obtain the resultant A plus B. So this is the resultant of addition of A and B. Now I have to add vector C to this resultant. Then this again by triangle law. So by triangle law I have to place vector C such that I have to place vector C such that the head of vector a plus b is at the tail of vector c and to find the resultant of the two vectors that is a plus b plus c i will complete the triangle by joining tail of the vector a plus b with the head of vector c when i join tail of vector a plus b to the head of vector c I obtain this resultant. This is A plus B plus C. This is the left hand side. In this I have first added A plus B and then added the resultant of A plus B to C both by triangle law of vector addition. Now I will solve the right hand side graphically. Right hand side says I have to first add vectors B and C. So to add vector B and C, first arrange vectors B and C such that head of vector B coincides with the tail of vector C. Now find the resultant of B plus C by connecting the tail of vector B to the head of vector C that is completing the triangle. As per the triangle law of vector addition, I find the resultant of vector B plus C here as this. This as this. This is the resultant of vector B plus vector C. Now I have to add vector A to this resultant to obtain the complete sum A plus B plus C. Now to add vector a to the resultant of vector B plus C. I bring vector A into the scene such that head of vector A is at the tail of resultant of B plus C. Now I have to add A to the vector B plus C. By triangle law the resultant will be the vector joining tail of A to the head of vector B plus C. If I complete this triangle, 
I will get the same result as I obtained by adding a plus b first and then c to the resultant. In this right hand side I have done what I have done I have added b plus c and obtained its resultant vector b plus c here and then added vector a to it and for our surprise we obtained the same resultant vector these two vectors are same a plus b plus c is same as a plus b plus c so this proves the associative law of vector addition.